I'm Cape Joel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at Deathstroke issue number 30 as the lives of Bruce Wayne and Slade Wilson get all Mari Povich up in here and discover who the true father of Damian Wayne is as we hop on into this newest arc. What'll happen next? Well, let's find out, shall we? Hey, so remember at the end of the previous issue, Deathstroke was in Arkham Asylum and we thought he was crazy? Well, guess what? This story has nothing to do with any of that. In fact, we open up with a flashback establishing that wouldn't you know it, Deathstroke's caretaker Wintergreen actually knew Batman's caretaker Alfred Pennyworth quite well. And because they're both British, they obviously came together over their mutual love of pubs and soccer. That's a football to everyone else in the world. I kid, of course, the two found kindred spirits in one another because they both have such rambunctious adopted children who may very well be the death of them both literally and figuratively. Now, the Terminator and the Dark Knight are no stranger to fighting one another. They've crossed paths numerous times before, but what's causing them to get on a collision course this time? Well, it all starts with a Chinese Chinese cocaine kingpin getting his safety deposit box robbed by a rival. Ooh, hey, it's like that Jason Statham movie, The Bank Job. Only unlike regular thieves, when these guys stole something, they also left something behind, an envelope addressed directly to Batman. Inside the envelope, Bruce Wayne finds a paternity test. Yeah, that's right, he may not be the father of Damian Wayne after all. Talia's definitely the mother, that's in there, but these papers would seem to imply that Slade Wilson is actually actually the papa in this situation. But wait, that's impossible, says Batman, and by extension, the reader, I did my own DNA test when Damien first came to live with me back during the Grant Morrison run. I know I'm his dad, right? Right? Batman opts to look into this by hunting down Deathstroke, and wouldn't you know it, Slade Wilson just so happens to have been hired to kill that cocaine kingpin that got robbed earlier. This means he and Batman end up running into each other and having themselves a little fight. Well, I say little, in reality it's actually quite a big fight. They fall through windows, they choke each other with chains, Batman gets a bunch of his vehicles involved, you know, that sort of thing. Eventually, Batman does decide to open up what's eating him, and that is the paternity test. Deathstroke blows the whole thing off. He's not really interested one way or the other, but he also doesn't think that he couldn't be Damien's dad. He's got money, the ladies love him, and he most definitely sleeps around. Both men are also about 99.9% .9 sure that this is some sort of con conducted by a third party to try and get them to fight each other for some reason. But while Batman begrudgingly wants Deathstroke's help to get to the bottom of all of this, Slade really can't be bothered. I mean, hey, he's got a 9 to 5 job as a professional assassin. Batman ultimately does try and play some hardball with the Terminator, saying that if he doesn't get helpful and very soon, Batman's gonna sit on all of his jobs and make sure that Deathstroke never gets paid again. In the end, though, both superhero and supervillain end up walking away very unhappy with one another, so that's Deathstroke number 30, everybody. And overall, I thought it was an occasionally clunky, but overall enjoyable enough kickoff to this newest storyline. As a longtime comic reader, I had enough trouble already trying to accept the idea that, oh, Damian Wayne's true father may not be who we think it is, but the two characters in the story feel the same way. While definitely unexpected from a writing standpoint, kind of left me with the feeling of, well, if you guys don't care, then how should I be able to care? What I actually really enjoyed about this story was the brief little almost interview segments between Batman's adopted kids and Deathstroke's own kids, talking about how they failed and succeeded as fathers in their own weird ways. As someone who does read the Deathstroke book quite often, it is a little odd that they just sort of abandon the Is Deathstroke Crazy storyline just to hop into this one right here, right now. Also, while it might be a little early to call, I'm about 90% percent sure that Wintergreen and Alfred might very well be behind this trying to teach their adopted sons a lesson, but hey, time will tell. In summation, I'd give this one a 7 out of 10. Interesting enough, I'm definitely going to stick with it and see where it goes, but it didn't knock my socks off. So that's Deathstroke, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, be sure to take a closer look at some of these other videos I have available. Then you can always follow me on Twitter and Facebook, so you're always up to date on what I'm doing next. And hey, if you like what I do and are feeling in supportive mood, please check out my Patreon link down in the description. Patrons get exclusive access to videos and content before anyone else, and you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I'll see you all again later. Bye-bye.